This video reviews the instructions for the Bravo test. You will also be given written instructions to refer to. The reason for reflux testing is that everyone has a small amount of acid that comes up from the stomach into the esophagus. GERD, or reflux disease, happens when more acid and fluid than normal comes up into the esophagus and causes symptoms. The Bravo capsule can measure how much acid you have coming up from the stomach into the esophagus. The Bravo is a small capsule that is placed in your lower esophagus that senses how much acid you have coming up from your stomach into your esophagus. The capsule sends the information to a receiver which is about the size of a pager. You will need to keep the receiver with you during the test. The test will last either 48 or 96 hours. The receiver will need to be returned to the office at the end of the study. The capsule will fall off after 7 to 10 days and will exit the body when you have a bowel movement. Because the Bravo is measuring acid, you will need to be off of your PPIs such as Nexium, Prilosec, Dexalent, etc. for seven days prior to the study. You will need to be off Pepsid and Zantac for 48 hours prior to the study, and you will need to stop Tums and Mylanta after midnight the night before the study. The Bravo can be placed either in the office or during a sedated endoscopy. If it is placed in the office, then you may have nothing to eat or drink for four hours prior to the test. If it is placed during a sedated endoscopy, then you may have nothing to eat or drink after midnight the night before the test. During the study, it is important to keep the receiver within three feet of you at all times. When you sleep, it is best to keep the receiver under your pillow. If you place it on your nightstand and roll away from your nightstand while you are sleeping, the connection can be lost. You may shower, leaving the receiver outside the shower. During the test, you may eat and drink normally with a few exceptions. No gum, hard candy, or breath mints. Do not sip on water all day. Just drink a glass of water and be done for a while, as water can neutralize acid. Chew your food thoroughly, as the capsule in the esophagus can give the sensation of food sticking. Some patients will have discomfort in their chest when they swallow. This is normal and should pass when the capsule dislodges. If the pain becomes severe, please call the office. We need to know when you start and stop eating or drinking. Before eating or drinking, push any button on the receiver to wake the receiver up. You will then push the button with the fork and knife to indicate you have started eating or drinking. A small green light next to the fork and knife button will flash. When you are done eating or drinking, again hit any button to wake up the receiver. You will then need to push the button with the fork and knife on it. The small green light 
next to the fork and knife will stop blinking. It is also important for us to know about body position. When you lie down, push any button on the receiver to wake the receiver. You will then push the button with the bed on it. The receiver now thinks you are lying down. A small green light will flash next to the button with the bed. When you get up from lying down, hit any button on the receiver to wake the receiver up. Push the bed button. The small green light next to the bed button will stop flashing. The receiver now thinks you are upright. You may continue all of your usual activities during the test, as long as you remember to keep the receiver within three feet of you. You may shower, leaving the receiver just outside the shower, as the receiver is a computer and cannot get wet. You may continue all of your usual medications except any medication herbal, or home remedy for reflux or heartburn. To record symptom of heartburn during the study, push any button on the receiver to wake the receiver up. Then push the red button to indicate heartburn. To document regurgitation during the study, push any button to wake up the receiver. Then push the blue button to indicate regurgitation. The yellow button will be assigned to you if you have chest pain or cough. To indicate chest pain or cough, hit any button to wake up the receiver. Then push the yellow button to indicate chest pain or cough. The receiver will automatically shut off when the study is complete. You will need to return the receiver to the office when the study is complete. You must remember to bring the diary when returning the receiver. You may resume your reflux medications when the study is complete. The capsule does have metal, so no MRIs for 30 days to ensure it has passed. If an MRI is needed within the 30 days, please obtain an x-ray to be sure the capsule has passed. In summary, the Bravo test is done off of your reflux medications. Push any button to wake up the receiver, then push buttons as indicated for eating or drinking, body position, or symptoms. The receiver will automatically shut off when the study is complete. You may then restart your reflux medications. Return the receiver to our office when the study is completed. The capsule will fall off in seven to 10 days and exit the body with a bowel movement.